In this question, we're given that one number is 12 more than three times another number. Maybe that's already enough to make your head spin, but uh, uh, it'll bear with me here. So the sum of the two numbers is negative 20. What are the two numbers? So one number is 12 more than three times another number. Okay, so maybe we'll, let's talk about the algebra way to do this again, just to make an equation. And the good thing on this problem again is you could always kind of use these values and check. Um, you know, if you weren't, if you didn't want to do the algebra, you could, I think, just brute force check these and get it, hopefully without uh, spending too much time. Okay, so let's, we don't know the numbers. Let's call one number. You know what we're going to call it. We're going to call it x, right? That's our, our, our catch-all variable here. We could call the other number a different variable, like y or something like that, but I'm going to use this information to, to um, label the other number. So let's call one number x. Now, the other one, so the other number is 12 more than three times that number. So the other number, well, it says we have to take three times that number, and then it's 12 more, so to get to this other number, we would have to take three times that number and then add 12 to get to that other number. Right, three times that number, plus 12, that's going to give us the other number. Well, we're given another relationship, and that's that the sum of the two numbers is negative 20. So here's one number, x, my other number. I know it's going to satisfy this relationship, 3x plus 12. So x plus my other number, 3x plus 12. Well, we know that equals negative 20. And we want to know what those two numbers are. Well, now we've got a nice little algebra equation that we can, we can solve. So again, you can think about in front of the parentheses, we just have plus. You can think about there's being a plus 1. So I've got to distribute that to get rid of the parentheses. But at the end of the day, if you're just multiplying by a plus 1, it doesn't change the values inside. So we'll be left with x plus 3x plus 12 equals negative 20. Well, I can combine some like terms. I've got an x and a positive 3x. Those are like terms. So 1x plus 3x, that's going to give me 4x. I still have my positive 12. That equals negative 20. And now, uh, again, I want to solve for x, so this is a linear equation. I'm going to, at my next step, subtract 12 from both sides. So then I've got 4x on the left side, positive 12 and negative 12 is 0. Negative 20 minus 12, that's going to give me negative 32. Again, if any of this arithmetic bothers you, you're allowed to use your calculator, so feel free. I've got 4 multiplied by some number equals negative 32. Well, since I'm multiplying by 4, I'm going to divide both sides by 4 to, to get rid of that 4 on the left side. I'll be left with x equals negative 32 divided by 4. Hey, that gives me negative 8. And already, I think there was only, um, only one answer choice that involved the number negative 8. So already on the test, again, I would know this is answer choice D. Boom, I would go on to the next one. Um, you can always, again, let's be thorough just to make sure. Suppose it was one of those just free response questions, and we had to figure out the other number. So we know that one of the numbers, again, is negative 8. The other number, we said, is 3 multiplied by that number plus 12. Well, now we can get that one, because we've got 3 multiplied by x, which we know is negative 8, plus 12. 3 multiplied by negative 8, that's negative 24, plus 12. And that's going to give us our value of negative 12. So negative 8 and negative 12 are the, again, just to be thorough, that's our solution. Again, you could sort of brute force check this one. You know, it says one number is three more, or is 12 more than three times the other. Well, for part A, if you take three times the smaller one and add 12, you're not going to get positive 12. Part B, if you take three times the smaller number and add 12, you're not going to get the other one. The same argument can be made for, okay, actually, I take that one back. Part C does satisfy that. Um, if you take three, no, even then it still doesn't work. So three times the smaller number. So it doesn't look like 
any of these choices A, B, and C satisfy this requirement that one number is 12 more than three times the other, unless I'm doing my um, arithmetic poorly here, and I don't think that I am. So, all right, so again, um, I think you can brute force check these using this criteria, but again, that would be the algebra way, just to, to uh, and this is kind of the complicated part, you know. One number, okay, let's call it x, no problem. Coming up with a second statement, I think that's, you know, that's, that's the more tricky part of the problem, is coming up with that part. Again, we're given that we add them together and get negative 20. Okay, so solving the algebra may be a little tricky, but I think most people would probably get tripped up on this step. Um, at least that's where I uh, really sort of get, you know, that's where my brain kicks into overdrive and I start thinking a little harder.